Hey guys, with a lot of injectors now starting to use ultrasound to improve the safety and the quality of their work, I thought I'd do a quick video about ultrasound and some of the different types of machines that are available out there. So first of all, why use ultrasound at all in the first place? Well, ultrasound, especially around the face, gives you a really good insight into the location of different structures, especially important the location of arteries and other vessels that you might want to avoid, but it also helps you locate previous uh, filler. So let's talk about some of the different types of machines that are available. This first one here that I have is the QSON OD8. Um, this is part of the group of small handheld portable wireless ultrasound machines. So the D8 here emits its own Wi-Fi signal and you can connect that to a iPad or iPhone or an Android tablet or phone or even a Windows PC. So the advantages of these little ultrasound machines is that they're super portable, they don't take up much space, they're very easy to get up and running with so you can be imaging in a matter of seconds um, and also they're low cost so machines like this are around about the same price as the cost of a transducer from a more standard ultrasound machine like this one they're becoming more and more popular for that reason the disadvantages of this unit um, or any of the other units like this is typically a trade-off for image quality image quality on these units are very good for what they are but they certainly don't have the really high resolution that you might like to image the face. The other trade-off that you can have, especially with some of these units, I don't think it's such a big problem with this unit, is the footprint of the probe can be fairly large. You can see this one actually has a linear, a smaller linear attachment, which is quite good for the face, so you can get it into small areas and um, you know, image fairly easily. Um, but some of these type of transducers do have quite a large footprint. Um, and by that I mean the transducer size is, is fairly large which might make it a little bit awkward around some of the smaller structures of the face. So yeah, that's the small handheld units. Um, advantages, low price, easy to use, disadvantages, not that fantastic image quality. The next one I'm going to show you is also a handheld portable, um, but it's wired. Now the advantages of having a wire is it can transmit more data and I find this is the Vino Q series. With this ultrasound system it actually has really good image quality but again it does have a fairly large footprint on the probe and the actual probe itself, the actual transducer to hold itself, isn't as easy as some of the smaller transducers that I'm going to show you in a minute. So yeah, advantages of this one, again, low cost, quite simple to use, um, disadvantages, probably the larger size and the footprint. Again, the thing I like with the cabled one is that it can transmit a lot more data, which means you typically get better resolution uh, from these ultrasound machines. So that's the Vino Q series. The next unit that I want to show you is the V6. This is a high-end portable ultrasound machine and because of that it has a whole range of specialized transducers some of which are ideal for cosmetic injections so this is probably the preferred probe i think it's a fantastic ultrasound transducer because it has a high frequency which means it gets very high resolution but it also has a really small footprint which means that it's really good for getting into small areas. The other thing that I like about it is that it's super lightweight. So being really lightweight, being really small, and the shape of the transducer means that it is really good for imaging fiddly areas, and especially for doing injections under fiddly areas. So um, this is definitely the go-to probe for injectables, a high frequency, good quality hockey stick transducer. Um, and that is, um, ideal for the Vino uh, V6. Now it goes without saying that the image quality, um, the Doppler sensitivity on the Vino V6 is extremely high um, and that is also ideal for imaging small areas like the face. You can get other transducers like larger transducers for the V6. Um, this is a super high frequency and very small footprint. I'll just to give you a bit of scale there. 
um, very small footprint 23 megahertz super high frequency linear transducer so that can be really good for imaging areas like the skin um, and you know first one to two centimeters under the skin so obvious advantages of the v6 is that it's a dedicated ultrasound machine with its own specialized transducers for this type of imaging the main disadvantage of getting a unit like the Vino V6 is the cost, um, although I think value for money wise they're still a very good unit.